Next speaker, Oleksiy Goncharenko from Ukraine on behalf of the European Conservative. Mr. Chairman, I had two questions. The first was about Nadia Savchenko, you already answered. And the second is about the rapid deterioration of the human rights and, free and democratic freedoms situation in the Crimea, which is illegally occupied by the Russian Federation. The recent decision of Russian occupation authorities to suspend the activities of the Mejlis of the Crimean Tatar people, we consider it as the beginning of genocide. And I want to ask you, what practical steps are you going to make Make in order to protect the Medjlis and the Crimean Tatar people in general? Thank you. Extremely, extremely important question related to the previous one. And uh, of course, uh, we, we all know that the Secretary General of the Council of Europe recently took the initiative to send a human rights mission to Crimea in response to the decisions adopted by the Committee of Ministers last April. Uh, this was a call by the Committee of Ministers to the Secretary General in order to do, to do something as you have already mentioned. The purpose of the mission was to assess the situation on the ground, not to carry out a full-fledged monitoring visit. Uh, and um, I have to say this assessment uh, was, uh, was done through meetings with numerous interlocutors from January 25th to 31st. Uh, the report of the mission was presented to the Committee of Ministers last week. Uh, it does not deal with any issue related to the status of Crimea. We need to be very clear about that. Um, a very large number of, of delegations within the Committee of Ministers expressed their support for the Secretary General's initiative and the strong hope that this first step will lead to reopening access to Crimea by the Council of Europe monitoring structures. Uh, viable solutions must now be found to this end, and I hope that such solutions can be worked out with the constructive engagement of the parties concerned. Uh, and the Secretary General, of course, has my full support in uh, his further dialogue with, with all the counterparts. Uh, of course, we all need to, um, uh, to, to contribute to this dialogue. We all need to be, uh, to be involved and uh, to assure that, um, that at least that first we have access and this mission was a good first step towards this and second to guarantee that the human rights of the citizens uh, on the grounds are, are protected or if there are any violations we can we can uh, assess them document them uh, and and take measures further on.